Welcome back. You are with the news today. Let's have a complete shift in mood. It's 48 hours to go for Christmas. This is the first year that the Shillong Chamber Choir will not be playing to a national audience on Christmas Day. That's because of the pandemic. But the group have brought out their Christmas album. It's called Come Home Christmas. And it's the first of a kind album because it's in multiple languages where the songs include ancient Aramaic, Hebrew, other Semitic languages spoken in the time and place of Jesus Christ's birth. The album has just been released and is already winning accolades. In fact, we'll have a song, special song for you in a moment to come with the spirit. But before that, I spoke a short while ago to the members of the Shillong Chamber Choir ahead of Christmas. Listen in. Joining me now are the three very special guests from Shillong. I'm joined by Neil, the director, and uh, by William Richmond, the lead singer, and by Donna. Appreciate your joining us. Always a pleasure uh, to see the Shillong Chamber Choir. This is Christmas week. First of all, Merry Christmas to all of you. Same to you. Same to you. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, I, I must find out from you, Neil, a new album. What's so special about this album this time, Neil? I think, uh, to put it in a nutshell, it's the inclusion of um, very much uh, a sort of Middle Eastern flavor rather than the usual Western flavor that we've heard for so many years. So you're going to be hearing so ancient Arabic. in a Middle Eastern flip. Yeah. So oh. we've even oh. gone. We've even gone there's and a, there's a touch of Arabic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've even gone and uh, sung in ancient Arabic, which is in a dead language, which was the language Jesus sp uh, himself spoke. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, so that that this is really special for us to hear it sung in its original form. So they ain't. I saw mommy's kissing Will Santa. You want <laughs> William, you want to tell us uh, as the lead singer the challenge of singing uh, uh, in sort of Middle East Arabic tunes to celebrate Christmas? Well, um, first off, when we first got the opportunity to actually sing in ancient Aramaic, knowing that it's the language that Jesus spoke, uh, I'm telling you, Rajdeep, the first thought was what an honor, truly. Uh, to be singing in, in, in that language. And of course, learning them, uh, let's just say sleep was out of the window. Food, we didn't know when, what we were eating, when we were eating. But nonetheless, the experience was absolutely phenomenal. It, uh, it, we didn't have much time actually to record it because um, we didn't want it, I mean, Uncle Neil in particular, he didn't want it to just be another Christmas album. We wanted something different. There are hundreds of albums out there. We were, what will the Shalom Shea McGuire do that's different? Well, let's remind people that Christmas is actually a Middle Eastern story and not so much of the North Pole. So that that's how it was. And yeah, the experience was absolutely phenomenal. And to get hold of people who actually speak ancient Aramaic was a rarity in itself, uh, Rajdeep. Donna, new challenges? Uh, in uh, at Christmas time, is, is this uh, was this even more difficult than doing a traditional Christmas song? Yes, it was uh, very different, uh, considering you know the addition of uh, languages like Aramaic, and it's not just the contemporary Aramaic, but uh, um, the the very language that Jesus spoke, which is actually a dead language now, and and um, well. God was on our side and he allowed us to be able to get in touch with somebody who knew the language and that's how we had access to learn it. And yes, it was hard work, it was a challenge. Guess what? The Shillong Chamber Choir have been kind enough to for the news today compose and sing a special Christmas choir song. So listen to that. Thanks for watching and a Merry Christmas to all of you. Don't forget tomorrow night, Ground Zero Kisan.
sights and sounds from the Singhu border. Bye for now. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.